Ah, I caught you. Yes, you. You know what you were doing. You're watching videos and scrolling through your social media to avoid studying for the upcoming mid-year exams. Ah, you know it's true. Yes, you were engaging in the age-old practice of procrastination. Ah, yes, procrastination. The art of screwing over your future self, where everything will be done tomorrow. As if tomorrow was this mystical land where everything goes right and everything gets done. Now, don't feel bad, guys. We all procrastinate when it comes to studying. We've all been there. You start by sitting down to study for tomorrow's maths test, but in five minutes' time, you're Google earthing the Great Wall of China and asking yourself such life-shattering questions as, I wonder how many tourists' photos I'm in the background of. But fear not, because even though you still are watching this video, you are not procrastinating. Because what we're going to learn about in this third paper video public service announcement is how to beat procrastination. Procrastination is a powerful enemy that can get you into a very destructive cycle. Step one, procrastinate until you hate yourself. Okay, so I have eight hours to study. Yeah, that'll be totally fine. Four hours later. Okay, I still got four hours. Still got four hours. That's that, that's going to be good enough. Three hours and 45 minutes after that. Ah, uh, why do I do this to myself? Step two, panic and cry. <laughs> Step three, finally start working. Okay, no, I can do this. I just need to leave out chapters eight, three, seven, two, and four, and I'll be okay. Step four, get really, really angry with yourself that you didn't start working sooner. You do this every time and you never learn. And step five, repeat. Oh, it's too late anyway. I'll, I'll just start properly tomorrow. Now, the first step to beating procrastination is to admit that you have a problem. And you admit that you have a problem by identifying what type of procrastinator you are. There are many different types of procrastinators out there and I'm going to show you a few of them so you can see what category you fall under. Number one, the list maker. I shall make a list of all the things I have to do, arrange them in order of importance and then get started on the first thing tomorrow. Yes, this will solve everything. Number two, the productive procrastinator. Okay, I need to study, but I can't study in such a dirty, disgusting room. I'll just, I'll clean it right now, and I'll start studying immediately afterwards. Two hours later. Okay, that's finally done. Oh, but looking at that cupboard, I really should color code all of my ties. Number three, the rewarder. Okay, no, I've taken out all the books and worksheets I need to study for tomorrow's test, and that's, that's a pretty good start. Good for me. I totally deserve a break. Ooh, the full Naruto and Sasuke fight. Kick his ass, Naruto! Number four, the side tracker. Well, I really need to work on that thing that's due for tomorrow, but I've had this amazing idea for that thing that's due next month. Number five, the delayer. Okay, I've just gotten home from work and I totally deserve a bit of a break before I start working again. So at 6 p.m. I will start working. Oh, damn, missed that. Okay, well, no point starting now. At 7 p.m. I will totally start working. Why, 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 why? Number six, the napper. I've got to start studying now, but I'm just so... Tired. I mean, how can you study when you're so tired? Okay, I'll take a nap, but like just for an hour, and then I'll feel refreshed and ready to go. One hour later. Mm, pizza. Three pizzas. Mm. Five hours later. Yes, yes, Emma Watson, I'll totally go on a date with you. Number seven, the social sharer. Ooh, that's a good one. This is going on Facebook. Why is studying so hard? Who needs school anyway? When I grow up, I'll just be a stripper, lol. And number eight, the snacker. I wonder if there's anything good in the fridge since I checked it five minutes ago. <clears throat> just this expired yogurt. Oh. Yeah. Ew. 
And now that you've seen the types of procrastinators, yes, you can be more than just one of those. And having identified what type of procrastinator you are, you can now move on to beating procrastination. So to be serious for a moment, guys, the trick to beating procrastination is to start now. Starting is the hardest part. But when you get started, you will see that the work is not so bad and that you can totally do it. You just need to have that determination and grit to make a start. And the trick to getting started is to start small and build momentum. Don't tell yourself that you have to get started for studying for the maths exam by studying all the trigonometry. No, guys, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If you're thinking about the whole hectic journey before you've even started, you're going to freak out and you're going to procrastinate. So when you have to study a lot of content, the trick is to start by doing something really simple. Tell yourself, I'm just going to take out my books now and I'm going to make sure that I just read a few pages. After that, tell yourself, I'm just going to do a few of these questions now to keep going. And before you know it, you're going to be feeling so good about getting through that work that no one's going to be able to stop you. So good luck for studying for the mid-year exams, guys. Avoid procrastination like the plague. And we hope that the paper video resources continue to help you dominate your subjects. Oh, and before I go, speaking of procrastination, I want to let you guys know about a little competition that we're running. All you have to do is hit us up with a selfie of the way that you typically procrastinate with the hashtag paper video on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or if you want to talk to yourself, Google+, and you will be entered into the draw to win a Vodacom Smart Tab 2. Entries close on the 31st of May, and we will do the draw at the beginning of June exams. So all the best, guys, and until the next time I see you, everybody love everybody.